so my computer that was there previously is no longer there because I decided I'm gonna go ahead and clean it out so I basically took out every component of the computer we got got all of our fans here these are us our three-speed antic fans they're 90 millimeters and they're LED as well um, I use those for blowholes and just other other events I have on there uh, right here's another fan that goes I put next to my video card which is up here this is the 7950 GX2 so it's a dual SLI card and there's my modular power supply and then here we have all the hard drives um, we got 320s, one terabyte drives, DVD drive, all of which are SATA. We have our our RAM right here, then our X5 sound card, our motherboard, and then a custom stock fan on our uh, CPU, all my SATA cables and so forth. Here we have the case. I've already cleaned out the case. We got a blowhole up top already, and I take off the front so I can clean out the front as well. Now, um, originally what I, I want to do when I put this back together is I want to do some good cable management. So I initially was going to kind of uh, drill some holes into the siding of the case right here so I can, you know, lead wires behind it and have it come out rather than be up in the, uh, the middle of the case itself. But unfortunately, I don't have a Dremel here, so I don't really have the tools necessary to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and start piecing this thing together. All these have already been... Um, canned aired and blowed out so all clean and ready to go back in I got the motherboard slightly secured I still have about have all these screws to put in still um, the reason I didn't put them in yet because I, I still want to leave it kind of loose just in case I need to move it for cable management and whatnot uh, I basically have a few select screws inserted um, and they're not tightened all the way anyway as well just in case I need to lift it put some cables underneath or something so I'm going to leave it like that for the time being and start adding some more components and finally when I get some stuff in before I get the video card and so forth in, I'll go ahead and secure this down. We have here OZ, or, I mean, not shake, OZ uh, Reaper DDR2 RAM and each one of these six is two gigabytes. So we're going to go ahead and insert it. It's dual channel too, so I'm going to simply put in this slot next to each other and we should be good from there. What we have here are the um, Antec 90mm 3-speed LED fans. And uh, they basically have a little control right here, which lets you determine the uh, speed of them. I normally have them set on high. It's really blurry right now. I normally have them set on high anyways, but uh, it blows out coming this way. You know, sucks air in going this way. But anyways, with how my case is currently set up, I'm going to have one fan right here, a 90 on high speed, blowing inwards. This one up here is going to be set on low speed. Um... Maybe medium. No, I think I'll probably go with lower medium. Definitely not high though. And the reason being is my, my PSU right here sucking it in. So this one's pretty much going to get sucked right into this to cool off the uh, PSU itself. And this will be sucking air out as well up here in the blowhole. So all this warm air is going to transfer up here. So this one's pretty much only, the only purpose it's serving pretty much to serve um, to cool down the PSU. So I don't need to have it on high. I'll save some electricity and noise as well. This one will be going on high though to cool off all the components up in here. So right now I'm going to go ahead and install the two fans, the two LED fans, and get them going. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, um, just to see where I'm going to have all my cables go through, I'm going to insert this modular PSU. Uh, so all these, I basically have all the ones plugged in right now that I'm going to need, uh, leaving only two free basically. Most of these are SATAs. Um, it's an 800 watt LED uh, modular power supply. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, insert this in and figure out where I'm going to have everything plugged in from there start doing some cable management then from there probably insert my other fan then hard drives then video card then sound card and go from there alright just replace my uh, my shitty stock fan with this uh, this LED fan right here I just bought it um, from Fry's I also bought another terabyte drive alright so we have most of the components hooked up properly the only thing I'm missing now is the SATA cables I need to plug in on my hard drives and CD drive we have everything plugged in as it should, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to start um, organizing the cables here and start plugging in the hard drives. <clears throat> Alright, well I got the whole thing pretty much put together, all the cables assorted. So this is basically what the final product looks like. Um, it's still a little cluttered, um, unfortunately it's just what I'll have to deal with at the, for the time being. Uh, most of the cables are tucked in behind the um, back panel. You see I have all my hard drives, the... Uh, SATA cables kind of tucked away 
everything kind of patched there along the side. And uh, I'm probably going to get a, a sleeving for this to make it look a little bit more attractive. Uh, things going through the holes there and behind the motherboard as well. Kind of got all my cables sort of just the way I want them. Everything in place. So I'm going to power it on to make sure everything works. Um, everything should be functioning fully, but we're about to find out. And uh, I think yeah, we should be good. So let's see if we uh, assembled it correctly. It's the first time I powered it on. I mean, usually something goes wrong, but so far so good. We got the power supply lit up, blowhole, CPU fan, sound card appears to be working. The fans appear to be working on the rear. So let's see if my front lights are working. Temperature appears to be reading. This fan appears to be on as well. But everything seems to be functioning. Um, I'm going to go ahead and right now I have multi-boot set up. I have uh, two Windows XP operating systems. Windows Vista 64-bit edition ultimate. And uh, Windows 7 64-bit edition ultimate as well. Uh, set up in multi-boot across uh, two of the hard drives. Um, that one has Windows 7 on it. So what I did is I bought a new terabyte drive. And this is, or this is my 320, I think. This is my terabyte. I need to swap these, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, but anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to boot off my terabyte. Oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to format my terabyte drive in half. So it's two 500 gig partitions. I'm going to install Windows XP first on the second partition. And once I have XP installed, I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 7 64-bit edition through the XP environment onto the first partition. And that way... Um, uh, Windows 7's closest, and since I'm going to be using the Windows 7 bootloader anyways, I want to install it after I install XP. And that 320, after I have both that done, I'm going to back up whatever documents I need off the 320 and uh, completely format it. Got this fan plugged in too, so I got another LED fan going. Dude, I also put in a fan right there to cool off my uh, video card, so that one's mounted in there. Windows booted up with its default menu, which is kind of odd because I don't actually have the Windows 7 hard drive in. Alright, so currently I'm formatting my drive in NTFS and I'm making a primary drive. Um, after it's done formatting, what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to uh, cut in half, part make two 500 gigabyte partitions. Um, I'm going to install Windows XP on the second partition and then install Windows 7 on the first partition. Well, I am running the Windows XP install right now on the second partition. I went ahead and unplugged my other system drive and set this to the first data port. Uh, this way it's going to use this bootloader instead and won't conflict with the other bootloader. And um, so this is going through the, um, it's basically literally all the configuration files I'm going to install in the second partition. Um, though I used uh, Nlight to customize the install a little bit. So I reduced the package size from about 600 something megabytes down to about 200 something megabytes. And uh, generally after making these custom installations with Nlight and shit, uh, I get it to install in about 10, you know, 10 minutes. I should already have everything set up. Well, just got Windows XP finished installing professional. Um, got all the updates, security updates, service packs, um, main primary drivers, and a few applications. Customize it, you know, basically laid out as I would use it at any other time. Uh, installing Windows 7 right now. Gotta love the uh, smooth setup. Well, I uh, got Windows 7 installed. So I got Windows 7 and Windows XP set up in multi-boot right now. Everything appears to be running great. Also, I was able to overclock my, uh, my CPU to about 3.1. Um, originally, it was a crappy core AMD X2 5600. Clocked at, I believe it was 2.6 gigahertz, but I overclocked it to 3.1 uh, stably with this new uh, CPU cooler. So overall, uh, temperatures in the case are a lot cooler, a lot cleaner, a lot more organized, and performance-wise, everything is running a lot smoother than it was earlier, and um, I'm content.